Well, it is an absolutely sickening and despicable attack of appalling uh, brutality. Uh, what we know is that three British nationals uh, have been killed. Because the situation is ongoing, we should prepare ourselves for further bad news. Uh, our thoughts also should be with the Kenyan government and the Kenyan people at this time. We've offered them every assistance, including in a call uh, that I made to the Kenyan president, President Kenyatta, uh, last night. I think the other thing to remember is that these appalling terrorist attacks that take place uh, where the perpetrators claim they do it in the name of a religion. They don't. They do it in the name of terror, violence, extremism and their warped view of the world. They don't represent Islam or Muslims in Britain or anywhere else in the world. You've spoken to the Kenyan Prime Minister. Can you tell us any more about what you discussed and specifically what sort of help the British government are offering? the Kenyan government and UK nationals in Nairobi? Well, obviously the first priority is to make sure we do everything for the British nationals caught up in this, so we're strengthening the consular services that we have and the people we have to look after our people. We've also offered the Kenyans help in terms of policing and advice and intelligence collaboration and other areas uh, which, we, which we will be able to help with.